Welcome back to my channel, Claro, let's talk about her, shall we? In the summer of 2017, Claire Cottrell, professionally known as Claro, made her breakthrough on the music scene. At just 19 years old, she uploaded a video of herself singing a song titled Pretty Girl from her bedroom. This lo-fi indie pop track touched on the societal pressures surrounding beauty and resonated with its simplicity and relatability. The video featured Clara without makeup, adding to its authenticity. The video's description carried a message of self-acceptance, stating it's okay to be silly and stupid. This simple yet powerful message struck a chord with viewers, and the video quickly went viral, amassing an impressive 93 million streams. Claire Cottrell was born in Atlanta, Georgia on August 18, 1998 and raised in Carlisle, Massachusetts. Her parents, Jeff Cottrell and Allie Cottrell, had creative backgrounds with her father being a marketing executive and her mother a photographer and designer. Claire's musical journey began early. At the age of 13, she started recording cover songs. She frequently performed these covers at local businesses, including Blue Dry Goods. During this time, MTV reached out to her to record a song for one of their shows, although the track was never used. Claire began sharing her music on platforms like Bandcamp, where she used the monikers Claro and DJ Baby Benz. She also posted covers and DJ mixes of rap music on SoundCloud. Additionally, she created short films on an old YouTube channel and maintained a separate channel for cover songs. Claire's path to fame accelerated in late 2017 when her video for Pretty Girl gained traction on YouTube. Notably, the song was recorded for an indie rock compilation that aimed to support the Transgender Law Center. Claire recorded the track using minimal resources, including a small keyboard, drawing inspiration from 80s pop music. The algorithm on YouTube played a significant role in the video's popularity, but it also found a following in vaporwave-centric Facebook groups. Pretty Girl had an impressive 81 million views on YouTube by 2022. In the early stages of her career, Clara was in a relationship with Jake Passmore, a member of the London-based band Scores. She began attending Syracuse University in 2017 as part of the Bandier program for recording and entertainment industries, but decided to drop out after one year to pursue music full-time. The success of Pretty Girl attracted the attention of major record labels such as Capital, RCA, and Columbia. John Cohen, co-founder of The Fader, signed Claro to the magazine's affiliated record label, offering her a 12-song record contract. She was also introduced to Pat Corcoran, manager of Chance the Rapper. However, Claro faced allegations of being an industry plant, who achieved success due to her father's connections. She strongly denied these accusations, emphasizing that they were sexist and unfounded. Some media outlets also reported that her father's connections facilitated her record contract signing. Claro didn't become a one-hit wonder. Instead, she continued to release indie pop tracks with a lo-fi aesthetic such as Flaming Hot Cheetos and Forever. Her music resonated with fans and maintained her status as an internet darling. Cottrell came out as bisexual to her fans via Twitter in May 2018. In an interview, she expressed gratitude to her openly gay friends in college who encouraged her to be true to herself and her sexuality. Another fun fact is that Claire is a fan of the rapper Playboy Cardi. She enjoys his often energetic performances and hopes to be as commanding on stage. In May 2018, Claro released her debut EP, Diary 001, under Fader label. This EP received positive reviews, dispelling any notions that she was a mere one-hit wonder or industry plant. She embarked on a headlining tour across North America and secured opening slots for Dua Lipa. Notably, her performance at the Bowery Ballroom in New York was sold out and she graced the stages of festivals like Lollapalooza and Coachella. Claro's evolution continued with her debut album, Immunity, released in 2019. This record further developed her intimate bedroom pop sound and explored her personal experiences with bisexuality and chronic illness. The album's production retained a lo-fi feel while delivering lyrics that were both personal and relatable. As of April 2020, Claro hinted at working on her second studio album, sharing a screenshot of a playlist titled Album 2, Demos So Far. Later in October 2020, she formed a new band called Shelly with indie pop artist Claude and two friends from Syracuse University, releasing two songs, Stam and Natural. In June 2021, Claro released Blouse, the lead single from her second studio album, Sling. This album featured a shift toward acoustic folk with rich instrumentation and was released in July 2021, marking another significant step in her musical journey. Claro's career has continued to flourish since her initial breakthrough, 
Her sophomore record, Sling, released in 2021, showcased her collaboration with pop legend Jack Antonoff, solidifying her status as an international pop star. She also joined the sad girl supergroup Boy Genius for several tour dates across the United States, further expanding her presence in the music scene. Claro's transition from a genuine bedroom pop artist creating music under her duvet to an established musician with significant production value has been remarkably smooth. She has managed to maintain her relatability and internet-tailored sound while evolving as an artist. In February 2022, Claro embarked on the U.S. leg of the Sling Tour, but had to cancel the last three dates due to temporary hearing damage caused by a technical incident during her Toronto performance. She faced another setback during the UK tour when her show in Bristol was cancelled because of sinusitis affecting her voice, leading to a panic attack on stage. Besides her undeniable talent, she is involved in activism, as that's where she got her start, duh. In July 2020, Claro signed an open letter calling for a ban on all forms of LGBT plus conversion therapy, demonstrating her commitment to LGBTQ plus rights. Additionally, Claro has been vocal about her advocacy on social and political issues. In May 2022, she signed a full-page ad in the New York Times condemning the U.S. Supreme Court's planned overturning of abortion rights established in Roe v. Wade, alongside other prominent artists like Lord, Olivia Rodrigo, and Phoebe Bridgers. During her performance at Glastonbury in June 2022, Clara wore a Bands Off Our Bodies t-shirt in protest of the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, which overturned access to abortion granted in Roe v. Wade. In 2023, Claro appeared as an opening act for Boy Genius during the inaugural Reset Concert series. Claro has cited diverse musical influences, including The Shins' Wincing the Night Away, which was the first album that truly inspired her to create music. Her musical tastes are a blend of her parents' preferences, with artists such as Al Green, Brenton Wood, Billy Paul, Cocteau Twins, Trash Can Sinatras, The The, and Public Image Looted shaping her musical style. But one thing's for sure, she has cemented her own unique place in internet pop culture as a voice of Gen Z, just like I aim to. So join my robot army by subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.